Hi everybody, my name is Juliano Carneiro and today I will show you how to insert 3D objects in real images with Cinema 4D. So let's start. First we need a plane. This plane will be our ground. Now let's create a background. Uh, let's create a new texture, a new material and let's find a image I will choose this one okay now let's put this one in my plane and in my background and if you see we need to fill our borders with my plane so let's make it bigger okay he's not editable let's make it editable okay uh, put in the horizon line yes here more or less here and make it fill the border from both sides if you see, my image uh, is not interacting with my background, so I need to change my projection to frontal. Frontal is a projection camera based, so you see, now my image is interacting with my background. But if I render, I can see this difference between my plane and my background. I need now to fix this use a compositing tag and mark compositing background here now if I render I have the perfect match my plane is now interacting with my background as one image now we need to put some objects in our scene I will use some objects from Cinema 4D library let's go to content browser uh, Presets, uh, Broadcast, 3D Objects and I will choose some of them here uh, Street Objects Let's use this one Let's make it small Okay little bit ahead here a little rotation yes a little bit more ahead okay uh, looks good now um, this stop sign here okay a tire Let's put here, rotate it, nine degrees, it's okay. Let's make it small. Yep. Let's make a copy, pressing control or comment in your Mac. Let's put something more. 
a parking meter <laughs> in desert. Yeah, why not? It's my scene. <laughs> Let's make it small too. Okay. And now let's see. A balloon. Let me come back to my object scene. Let, I will create a camera. I will start this camera and put a protection tag. Now I turn off my camera and I can move and put my balloon more ahead. I will make it smaller. and put it here okay, I will rotate it to simulate some wind okay Turn on my camera. And this is my scene now. Now we need to create some lights, so we will create our shadows too. Let's make this sign a little bit bigger. Okay now, and my balloon too. Okay, so now let's create a infinity light and put it here. And another infinity light. This second we will use as our main light. So let's create some shadows a shadow map soft and let's rotate it okay to see our shadows in real time come to display uh, forgive me come to options and active shadows so you can see your shadows in real time now you need your shadows look like shadows of your image. So let's put it here. More or less here. Okay, let's render now. Not so bad. Let's make it better. My tire here is floating. Okay, now. My secondary light is too intense. Let's use 30% here. Okay, if I render now, looks better. My main light is too intense too. Let's put this in 80%. Okay. In this material let's use a little bit less reflection. Okay. Better now. Yeah. Not so bad. Let's fix our shadows now. Come here in lights and in shadows. Let's change some parameters in parallel width 
let's choose 1000 and 500 centimeters yes let's use a better resolution from for our shadow maps let's choose 1750 better uh, let's use 80% of density and change our color to a dark blue looks good a little bit more resolution I think will be better just change your sample radius to 1 let's see yep better now we need to change the color of our lights our sun here is yellowish so we will use the same color here uh, general color let's use this color 15% here and here and let's render okay looks good now let's put some ambient occlusion I think my secondary light is too strong. Let's down your intensity. Twenty percent. Yep, better. Why not? remove the specular of our tires too let me see how material is tire okay and my main light let's change it to 70 percent so this is the easiest way to insert 3d objects in real images with cinema 4d i hope you like it and forgive me because this is my first tutorial in English and I don't speak English. I just try. Actually, I learned English playing Super Mario. <laughs> okay, I see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.